Human Services defines poverty as a family of four with an income below $23,050 a year. Basically, our students are low SES, which low socioeconomical status. Uh, Title I, we're 96% uh, Title I, free and reduced lunch. Keisha Gibbons says many are from single-parent homes just like their teacher. Show me. I grew up on the west side of Atlanta. The neighborhood, it was pretty bad. Um, drugs, violence. But my mom sometimes kept me in the house um, because of violence in the neighborhood. Shanae Benton Eccles was also a student at Boyd. Her mom sometimes worked two jobs to support their family. Well, growing up, I has always wanted to be a teacher. Shanae is the first college graduate in her family and a role model for students from her old neighborhood. It's very challenging um, because that's all they know. And come to school, I try to give them something different. You are a superstar. So does their principal. But she says children need even more. Regardless of their ethnic background, their religious affiliation, or their economics, we can't go wrong with giving a child access to their dreams. At Boyd Elementary, a program called Create Your Dreams is helping to provide that access. The mentorship that they have with adults and college-age students and just different people from different walks of life, that um, experience was really, uh, I guess, enlightening for me. Create Your Dreams began mentoring Shanae in the third grade. Mostly field trips. Um, my favorite was horseback riding, cooking, um, a lot of arts and crafts, and also um Giving back to others, um, we will go to a nursing home and we will paint the ladies' nails, do their hair. It showed me something different from what I normally see. I grew up drugs and violence all the time, um, scared to come outside, and so Christian Dreams was a safe place. A safe place with a big goal. We try to expose the children to every possible opportunity in Atlanta and bigger so that they they know what's available. For example, it was a Create Your Dreams mentor who took Sinead to visit Tuskegee University, her future alma mater. Pairing me with people who I wanted to be like. Create Your Dreams relies on private and corporate donations. Executive Director Kim Dennis has been with the program since the beginning. We started in 94 where our approach was really just child-centered. So we worked only with the children, never considered families, parents, what was going on inside their home or community. We were very centered on that, but it it took a while and, and it settled in with us where we really need to embrace the entire family. Shanae Benton Eccles is proof that approach works, but she's not the only one. Over the course of 20 years, the children who have remained in our program 100% have graduated from high school, 94% have gone on to post-secondary um, education, college. In Metro Atlanta, there are literally hundreds of churches, food bank, shelters, and nonprofits working to end generational poverty. The programs that we find most successful, again, are the programs that really address the full needs of the family. So what are those needs? One study found there are seven.